best. Today, welcome back to a brand new video, and today we are gonna be. I'll be showing you how to edit a photo properly. So, like the shadows. this we need a project now i'm just going to choose the basic canvas over here and it's going to be white for me i'm going to create it as you can see we have it open right now let's just do this up close and this one also close we don't need any of these we don't need this one though so we can't i just make it a bit smaller so it doesn't take most of it so this is enough yes and now let's get started you get your tool over here, uh, your type tool over here, and you can choose any font you want. I have Boban Fit because, well, it looks a bit cool, I guess. So, right now I just did this. Let's just do this. And you know what? Let's like make it a bit bigger. Let's go this much. Yeah. And over here, we'll like type text. And I'll just show you how to add spacing. So let's just make this a bit bigger than how it is. Let's make it around 300, the double of it. Yes, and now, so as you can see, we have the text over here. You can just change the color and stuff. And that's what I'm going to be teaching today. Okay, so I'll just place it over here. And yeah, I'm going to click on, on the tick mark. And we have been selected, so we don't have to really eat it. But yeah, it's yours. So we have it in here. Now you're gonna click on right click, and the first option, the blending option. And now we're gonna click on stroke, which basically gives an outline to your text or anything. So now we can make it however big we want, however small we want. So let's just make it this big, and we can also add multiple of them. So I'm gonna add a white one to it. So this is the second one. I'm gonna add white and make it a bit bigger than it. So yeah, there you go. So this is how it is. Uh, so let's just add like a rectangle so that we can see the color of it. Yes, and now let it be a bit of a blue or a light uh, pink is blue color. And we make it go down. Yes, as you can see, this is perfect. Yes, and now you can see it's outlined twice. Now let's open it back and you can also click on drop shadow. It means a shadow. You can see, well, you can't see it because of this. Well, we have to close this. Let me just close this right now because I've already seen it. And it's better. You can see the drop shadow. We can add it anywhere we want, but actually, as you can, you can't see it right now because it's back. So now we can make it around like this way, so it's like floating in mid there and there's like a light shining this way. Or you can make it any side you want, so it goes to 60 degrees. Yeah, so I'm just gonna make it look like this, like a bit of this. Yeah. Yeah, but this is better. Now we can also change the color of the shadow to be like a reddish shadow. But I like it black a bit. And you know the noise? Yeah, you can make it like this, like a dotted texture or like a bit of dots. So I'm just going to make it a bit like you know, around this much. Yeah, now it looks good. Now color overlay. You can change the color of it. If you want, you can actually change it by the Choosing that one, but I so this is quicker. So now you can actually choose like like uh, the text color over here, or you can just do it manually, like blue, for example, or yellow, or like green, red. Well, this it's gonna blend in, or like teal color. Yeah, I'm just gonna choose yellow for now, so it looks a bit cooler. Yes, and 
and you can add satin so it's like this you can add like like a bit you can actually do some settings but i don't want that right now i rather like inner glow it actually is very cool you can't see it right now because this is the color and you can also choose gradient stuff i'm just gonna make it a bit bluish to try to make this look as rainbow as possible so blue and let's add this red can you see like a bit of blue i guess you can't wait a sec yeah this guys that's like the inner is glow doesn't actually show it a bit yeah and the gradient and stuff so it's like white i'll choose this to be blue over here okay now it's a bit blue but it looks too much so i'm going to put like spread it a bit of zero and yeah now it looks a bit too white well you can change the settings and stuff you can put in a shadow this is basically this but inside you can like change it the stuff and uh, like so it looks 3d -ish. so yeah it was, i like it this way so i'm going to make it like a dark gray um yeah so this opacity full 100 you can make like the distance for it to come in i like it bit of that so it gives like a more 3d ish look and the spread you can like change it and stuff i like it to be like a bit is more mild blur yeah and like the size that you big like like if you want an inner outline of the edges yeah this is a bit cool you put like the noise yeah this looks comicish i don't want too comic is so i'm going to do like a bit dot texture yeah now this is perfect so i can put like the outer glow which goes like outside is and just put like pattern overlays like these and this was the gradient overlay which i'm talking about so i just close this now it's a gradient i'm just going to put this to be blue and this one to be um yellow okay so this is how it looks right now you can like change the scale of it that now that looks like it's mixed together it's not mixed together enough and now if you go with this mix is a bit like this is uh, this is a bit perfect it looks like a rainbow you know like rgb is ish on um, this it just like a mix like this mix the like complete limit So if you want like um a design but like a line and you don't want to edit a lot, this is actually very useful. I recommend using this instead of like another text thing and then like you put that and stuff. Yeah, this is better. And if you want it like you can also change the way it looks like that. I'll do it like yeah, that's better. So now you can just do that. It's actually pretty thick, right? So I'm just gonna do it like that. Looks a bit better. Of off X, like how high do you want it and stuff? Yeah, I'm just gonna put it that. And yeah, now that's it. So it looks so cool. You can put the uh, background images, for example. I'm just gonna add in another image. As you can see, guys, I just got the photo for this, and let me just drop this down. Yeah, as you can see, like the the text and stuff. So I can actually move it, and it shows according to it. So now, like, look at this. So there's like light in the middle right now. So it's very cool that it's in the middle. Let's just align it. You're actually gonna see a line. So you can see here, see like some lines, which show that it's perfectly in the middle. 
this is perfectly in the middle and you can see like the shadow over here i just saw the random background and if it's yours i'm completely sorry i'm not gonna post this or anything this is just gonna be in the thumbnail of the photo so i'm not gonna use this for anything else just the thumbnail if you guys do not want it in the video just comment down below and yeah i'll try removing it or i'll just take down the video or i'll yeah like you can see me in the comments down below and yeah this is how you do this and it's also the same for other images so i'll just show it to you so now let's just make this a bit smaller you can hold shift to make it in the same size if you don't want it to be in the same size you can stop holding shift and yeah i'll just make this over here keep this over here really quickly and i'll just align it to be perfectly here yes now it's better i'll import an image i'll import an emoji So as you can see, I just imported an image of an emoji. So it's a ruffle, and it's actually sideways. I just make it like this, so it's proper. Now I'll just deselect it and Control C. Yeah, as it was gonna stay the same way. Okay, so now that it's there, you can also do the same thing for this. And if you're like, um, I want the same thing of this, like the exact copy, you can actually click on this. And go to layer style. You can copy. Now go to the image with the layer style and paste. So now it's just looking like a rainbow lemon. But if you don't want it, you can just transform. And if you want it like your own stuff, you can just like change the color overlay, like uh, gradient overlay, which is RGB, um, the drop shadow. Because why not? Let's just add it. It doesn't look a bit good as I thought it would be. And yeah, this is the white one just to show that it's not mixed with it. So yeah, it's too thick, so I'll just keep it this way. Um, now, if you want to make it like a silhouette, you know, we got a color overlay and this. And yeah, you can import import a question mark, uh, you know, like the green screen one, and just import it here and remove the green screen with the magic wand. And yeah, you can do that. It's even fun, and it's very easy. Yeah, I like Photoshop a lot, Photopea a lot. So yeah, let's just keep this like a lemon, and we'll just make this a bit smaller so that it's like yeah, this is perfect. You can see this is the final product. I'm just gonna save this. So how you save it is new project. You can just double click on the thing and. Save it as whatever you want. So I'm gonna put it as text rainbow lemon. Yeah, yeah, that's better. Now, okay, file export as PNG. If you want, you can JPG, SVG, um, GIS, uh, GIF, PDF, web. Um, there's a lot. But I don't know what these what these means. I only know PNG, JPG, and PDF and GIF. I'm gonna say this PNG because that's the best and the quality like zero percent. Like who wants that? So yeah, hundred percent save and it downloads it as that. If you just click on it, you'll see it. Uh, yeah, let's just close this for now. And yeah, guys, um, that's all for today. And I'll see you guys in the next video, guys. Bye.